Um, thank you, everybody, to the, and welcome to this nominations committee. Uh, this uh, meeting is being recorded and will be made available later on the council website. Um, I'll start the agenda. Um, item one: apologies for absence. I have apologies from uh, Councillor Thomas J and uh, Councillor Marie Bailey will be acting as substitute for this meeting. Thank you, Marie. Um, item two: minutes of the previous meeting. Can I sign those as a true record? I have a mover for those. Councillor Ben Price is a seconder. Councillor Tina Clements, all those in favour? That is carried, thank you very much. Uh, item three, declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest? Councillor Cook? It's not a declaration of interest, it's just uh, as we were discussing earlier, I'd just point out this committee currently doesn't have a vice chair. <laughs> Uh, we, do we need to rectify that at some point? Can I, can I just make a request to put it on the next um, time this committee meets that we elect a vice chair? Just, just some dust for governance, and nor am I volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Councillor Cook. Can that be put on the next uh, agenda item? Um, any other declarations of interest? No? Okay. Uh, item four, review, a review of the nomination process. So the uh, main report is made available for members. So this is, um, in essence, uh, a report to detail members about, I uh, say, use the word sort of tidying up, but sort of um, simplifying the process in terms of how members of the public uh, nominate people for uh, the various honours that this uh, authority bestows. Um, and the forms for doing that and the, and the processes of how the public can do that um, it's proposed to be streamlined uh, by making it easier to do it through the website, um, but also the um, application form requiring um, so a bit more supportive evidence as well, uh, including sort of uh, as well as the, the applicant doing that uh, information from um, other people as well. So this committee's got really plenty of information when they're deciding on these nominations that are made to the committee. Um, so I say I'm happy to, to take any questions if, if members have got them, uh, but it's really just sort of a, a housekeeping report in terms of tidying things up a little bit in terms of the process. Uh, does any, any member of the committee have any questions on this? Councillor Cook? Yeah, thank you, Mr Chairman. Uh, yeah, happy to support this uh, with yourself. Um, using, as an example, freedom of the borough, it shouldn't be a simple process to get somebody the freedom of the borough. You should really have to robustly justify it. The last thing I want to see is a board in that corridor next door that lists 300 people that have freedom of the borough because we devalue what freedom of the borough means by that point. I'm not saying make it bureaucratically complicated, which we haven't done. I'm saying make it challenging to, to, to receive such an honour from this council and from this town. And, and if you make it robust, it justifies what an honour it is. So I'm happy to second this report if you'd moved it, Mr Chairman. Yep, so I'll, I'll happily move it. Does any other members have any questions or comments on, on the report? So thank you for that. Yes, yeah, so it's been moved and seconded. I think it's really just to say putting the onus on, on the applicants to ensure that they're, they're, they, they're aware they've got to convince this committee to bestow these, these various awards the committee can, um, can give um, to ensure that, um, that you know, we, are, we are awarding them to those who are uh, deserved. Um, and I say it's, it's the... the, the the effort is being put in to provide the information we need um, so the committee um, say, can approve those that, that are worthy. So um, if there are no other questions or comments, um, I'll, I'll move to the um, vote then on the uh, recommendation to approve the changes as detailed in the report. So it's been moved by Councillor Cook. Uh, so I've moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Cook. All those in favour? That is carried. Thank you very much. So um, we now move into the uh, private part of the meeting. So uh, under on item five, I move the exclusion of press and, press and public, uh, that members of the press and public are now excluded from the meeting on the grounds that the business involves the likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph two, part one, section 12A of the Local Government Act 1972. And I look for a seconder. Councillor Cook, um, all those in favour? Thank you very much. So that now takes us into the private bit and the recording of the meeting will finish here.